Good morning, everybody. Welcome, YouTube. Welcome. Welcome to my 420 vlog. <laughs> It's currently 12.03 and I kind of wanted to film a little special something for you guys for 420 because 420 is a holiday for us stoners. You know what I'm saying? Like today is a day to relax. Today is a day to get lit and just have fun. And hopefully this goes up on 420. So, you know, I encourage you guys to stay indoors during 420. Don't go out because I know... I want to go to the beach and do something fun, but I can't. So, you know, we have to make with what we got. And today I'm going to be just sitting down, smoking a blunt, and just vibing with you guys, doing my makeup. That's what I have planned for today. It's just going to be like a quick, like, sit down while I'm high as fuck and do my makeup. I usually do my makeup high. I have decided to wait to do this face mask for 420 um, because it supposedly has... Um, like marijuana hemp oils like infused in it so i thought it would be really cool to do this face mask so i'm gonna just put this all over my face before i do my makeup and i'm gonna just be putting this mask on i'm not sure what type of mask this is detoxifying face mask so i'm not sure if it like peels off or if i have to wash it off let me read the instructions i guess right it says Uncle Bud's detoxifying face mask is delicately creamy and super soothing. I didn't even layer onto skin clean. I'm not even high yet and I, I'm like retarded. I'm gonna be leaving this on for 10 to 15 minutes. That's enough for a smoke sesh. I have a beautiful new bong. Um, her name is Pussy Killa. Shout out to my Instagram. So I'm gonna put her off to the side over there because we're gonna be smoking a blunt and hitting some bowls. Um, before I do my makeup. I have a playlist in the description that is my Spotify playlist where all my music that I listen to is. So if you do want to go check that out, the Spotify playlist is in the description. I don't know, I always have to have music on when I'm when I'm smoking. I can never not have music on. Before we smoke, we obviously got to set the vibes. A lot of you guys were asking in the last video, why do I light incense? Incense are um, something that you can light to cleanse the energy. It's supposed to, you know, make your house smell good or whatever. But it's known to, you know, um, create energy around you. You can tell how the energy is just based off of, like, how the smoke is flowing. That's, like, the whole point, you know, the negative energy is burning as the incense is. So that's why I like these. I just feel like, you know, it, it puts, like, a, a certain vibe around me while I'm smoking. Bitch, shut up. I got my handy dandy Fiji water right here because I know I be parched as a motherfucker during these smoke sessions. It's 420. It's 420. It's a celebration of weed. It's a celebration of marijuana. If this is your first time watching, hi, my name is Savannah. I smoke, obviously. I do not smoke anything else but weed. So, you know, don't come at me. Where the fuck is the lighter at? I just had that shit. Under pressure. I'm smoking yes sir because this is you know a 420 video or whatever please do not leave any negativity about smoking or weed or uh what it does to you or anything like that um i get hate on the daily i get judged on the daily about smoking quite frankly i don't give a fuck about what people think about me but um, you know, sometimes people do tend to bash on me for smoking and think that it's really bad that I record myself smoking. Now, I wouldn't say I'm influencing the act of smoking, but I would say if you are of age and want to smoke with me, you can. I get comments on the daily about smoking and how bad it is and how bad I am of a person. Honestly, it's not that deep, sis. If you're starting that comment right now, if you're here and you're starting to that comment saying, I was going to subscribe until she started smoking. Get out of here. Bye. The door. Exit. Click it out. Go. Bye. And I've been judged a lot 
um, for smoking. I've been judged a lot. I've been called problematic and by my own family too. A lot of you guys in the comments say like, how are your parents so accepting? I only live with my mom. I have other family members that have given me crap for smoking and it's so stupid. I don't understand. I have uh, went out of my way to create my own community where I felt openly able to smoke and I'm not gonna let anybody take that away from me. So I wanted to try this trick that I have been trying to learn and I kind of got it down. <coughs> the potential's there. The potential to do the trick is there. How do people look cool doing it? I look fucking retarded. But I am gonna get high as fuck before I do my makeup. So I am going to take some feet. The fuck did I just say? I'm already high as fuck. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. I am going to be taking a few bong rips. The progression of me getting high as fuck throughout the video is gonna be so funny to watch. A few moments later. I um really overdid myself, y'all. I'm fucking high as shit. I'm gonna be doing my makeup still. You know, mama ain't raised no bitch. I've just never done my makeup this high before, so I don't know what's about to go down. I usually do my makeup high. I I did pack a bowl to go while I'm doing my makeup, so <laughs> I'm going to be hitting this. I'm going to be putting some moisturizer, Pond's moisturizer, because I have dry skin, um, and I am also have a really bad breakout. I'm only going to put this, like, on my, on my cheeks and, like, on my nose, because that's where I usually get really dry. Y'all really sleeping on e.l.f. I own hella e.l.f. products. So I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. It's really good because it like fills in your pores. It's like fucking like four bucks. I got this shit at Walmart. Fat ass hit right now. That's going to hit me later for sure. Oh my god. What, what steps did I do right now? So I did my brows off camera because, you know, your girl be struggling sometimes. <laughs> I had to redo them like four times because I kept trying to go dark. And I kept being like, no girl, you need to go natural. But when I'm high, I always want to go dramatic and like all out and shit. So now that my brows are done, I can finally start on doing my face makeup. And I'm going to put y'all on real quick. Infallible 24-hour fresh wear up to... Oh, wait. I read that completely wrong hold on so the infallible it's really good it has bomb ass coverage but for today because i have like like some blemishes i want to go over with concealer like on some of my red spots that i have because you'll probably have an acne sometimes and there's nothing wrong with that I'm easily really insecure about my acne i used to have acne everywhere on my face i used to have it everywhere and i was not comfortable with like not wearing makeup like i was always wearing makeup because i was not confident without it because my skin used to be bad y'all like i'm gonna try to find pictures i'm i used to not take pictures with without makeup because it was really that bad having acne just made me um honestly like really appreciate people more <laughs> which is such a weird thing to say but i didn't notice anything about my acne until somebody pointed it out and said something about it and that's what made me insecure about it was like somebody else made me insecure about myself when i went to public school i don't go to public school anymore just because like i'm not a public school girl and i remember this day like it was yesterday because it was like a really like sad day like it was like the worst day of my life i used to do like these fucking remedy face masks and shit because i was so desperate to like get rid of it it got so bad to the point where i would just start doing like different things that i seen online you know like how to clear acne in one day one night i used like 
a toothpaste mask and I accidentally fell asleep with the mask on. Woke up with a chemical burn on my face and I tried to, you know, cover it up with makeup but it wasn't working. And I had to really sit there and take my time but we were in a rush. I had to go to school without makeup. The day I was getting a chemical burn, you know, and I remember like crying, just like being like, oh my God, like I am not prepared for this. It was the first time anybody was going to see me without makeup. I was in third period biology and this boy, I'm not going to say his name even though I could. Um, this boy was like, he said something about my face. Like he said something about my acne in front of the whole class when we were in like a laboratory, like computer lab. It, I thought at first it was one of those things where like you look in the mirror and only you see it, you know, and it's not that bad. But like knowing that other people, you know, were like seeing it and like, you know, I'm gonna start crying. No, I'm seeing my makeup. It's like a touchy subject. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> my two friends named Giselle and Jessica like pulled me to the side and were like, like, don't listen to him. He's such a jerk. If you guys are watching, if both of you guys are watching, I want to say thank you guys so much for doing that. It just made me appreciate the people that are around me that actually love me for me. The good came out of it, even though I was like, fuck acne. I think it was stress acne I was going through. I was going through a really hard time. We not even go talk about what I was going through right then and there because it was a lot, honey boo boo. For people to really sit there and like, make fun of the way somebody looks on the outside, not knowing like what that person could be going through to make them look like that. You know, it's like really messed up. So I'm gonna go bronze my face up. I use the Hula bronzer and then I'm gonna bake afterwards and I'm gonna bring it back when I'm baking. Cause I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna bake while I'm baking. Okay, yeah, you get it. If you wanna be a bad bitch, just pop on some big ass lashes and you good to go. That's all you really need to be honest. All you gotta have is good skin and some big ass eyelashes and if you don't got good skin just wear some concealer honey boo boo i'm gonna coat my eyelashes with some mascara did i use 420 as an excuse to get ready for nothing yes i did you know what you should too because i'm high as fuck playing with some makeup and it's fun i just wanted to go for like a very natural like lip color to looks like my lip and you know what it fucking worked I'm gonna come back like with my hair different whole different outfit change real quick and we can have another smoke sesh to end the video for 420 I'll be right back like a whole brand new bitch busting <laughs> you guys probably be like oh my god what changed I changed into a new black hoodie but this one's Nike Changed into some new pajamas for y'all. This is how my makeup came out. Not too bad for being high. Happy 420, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed smoking with me and vibing with me. I hope you guys enjoyed doing my makeup together. I know you guys have been wanting a makeup um, smoke sesh. I tried to do a little sun tone for y'all for 420. I promised I would start being a lot more um, active on here on YouTube. And due to quarantine, I really have no excuse. But I do have um, a video coming up soon. I'm going to be trying to like ombre my hair with bleach. Look forward to that video coming soon. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you guys for the support recently. It means a lot to me. 21K, you guys. It's a lot. Like, I would have never expected to have 21K subscribers on YouTube. I'm gonna take a hit just for 21K. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for 21k. <coughs> A typical Savannah actual as she's dying. <coughs> uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you. Bye. Mwah. Oh yeah, and also I forgot to say subscribe. Like, what the fuck? How are you gonna make it all the way here and not subscribe? Like, come on now, subscribe. Subscribe. Mm -hmm.